Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. I wanted to talk about healthy hair and growing hair in this video. I personally have been kind of putting my hair through a lot lately and trying to grow it out and just keep it healthy. So I wanted to share some of my tips with you guys and hopefully it'll help you out. So my first tip is a scalp treatment. If you're trying to grow out your hair, a scalp treatment um, can be really beneficial. Right now, I'm personally using the Kiehl's Magic Elixir, and I like it because the top of the bottle allows you to just apply it directly onto your scalp, and then I massage it in. Another scalp treatment that I've tried and really like is the hair fertilizer, which you can find at Rite Aid. It comes in a cream like this one, or it comes in a little dropper. Um, I like the dropper better, but it's a little bit harder to find. I know Sally Beauty Supply has it, but Rite Aid always Always has the cream and you just massage it into your scalp if your hair is feeling really dry and unhealthy I definitely recommend an overnight oil treatment once a week I use coconut oil and um, when my hair wasn't color treated this sometimes would be a little bit too much a half of a spoonful I would maybe only do like a teaspoon throughout your hair um, but when your hair is really damaged the coconut oil really hydrates and your hair just sucks it up you can put your hair up in a bun and sleep overnight I just comb it through my hair you might want to put a towel on your pillow because it can transfer and if you have oily skin that might be something to think about as well um, because the oil can transfer onto your skin. The next tip is to take supplements if you're trying to grow out your hair and I just ordered these Sugar Bear Hair Vitamins because I kept seeing them being advertised on Instagram and I'm a total sucker. So yes, I'm not advertising these myself but I was a sucker and bought them because I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. They do taste really good which I imagine would make it easier to remember to take them but I also really like the Viviscal supplements which my hairdresser friend recommended to me um, for hair loss and I had some postpartum hair loss so if you're experiencing hair loss those are really great too but if you don't like to swallow vitamins maybe try the sugar bear ones and I'll keep you posted on what I think about those so yeah in the morning I just brush my hair out and then you really want to make sure you wash it out really really good so um, I had planned to take a shower in the morning anyway Oliver usually plays with his little cars on the bathtub while I'm getting ready in the morning but I made sure to give my hair a really good wash to get all that coconut oil out otherwise your hair can appear greasy and depending on you know what type of hair you have adjust the coconut oil amount if you're not into the overnight hair oil thing you could do a hair pack once a week which you can find these at the drugstore you can find them at higher end stores it's basically just a deep conditioner or hair mask that you keep on for five to ten minutes and then at the end of your shower always turn your shower to cold let the cold water rinse through your hair that helps close the hair cuticle and make your hair look really really shiny This one's a tough one for me, I will admit, because I like to put my hair up in the towel. But if you're noticing breakage or unhealthy hair, uh, you just want to gently pat the towel against your hair um, to prevent breakage. I was told that it's important to use a wide tooth comb instead of a traditional hairbrush when brushing damp hair because that can cause breakage. So I do use um, just a wide tooth comb. And then some type of serum or elixir spray um, you can find all sorts of of these types of things. It's a 10 is a really good one. But right now I have this um, Golden Elixir by Kerastase and I really like it. It made my hair super soft and shiny. So that's the one I'm using right now. If you can avoid heat, just let your hair dry naturally. But if you have to go out and blow dry your hair, try using the cold shot. And another tip that really works for me and I, I've mentioned before on my channel is to always aim the nozzle downward. That's gonna help give your hair a shinier appearance. It just works every time. Also, if you're able to use your fingers, um, that also helps your hair look just shinier and healthier. It always depends, of course, on your hair type um, with all of these tips, so you want to kind of customize them. But these are the things that I've been kind of doing to help my hair because it was definitely looking um, really dry and unhealthy, and now it's starting to look much better. The next thing is to use a satin pillowcase, which I haven't had one of these for a while and I recently picked one up. This can really, really help your hair and your skin. So I would highly recommend getting that. And that completes my tips for healthy hair, especially if you're growing out your hair. If you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe, and check out my last few videos and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.